Try, Adapt, Learn. In this video, we will try to reset the ABS, VSC, and brake system warning lights. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please subscribe now. This video is intended for entertainment purposes only on how the warning lights were reset for this specific vehicle. This video should not be used to define why these warning lights are occurring in any vehicle other than the one in this video. As a reference, the ABS warning light refers to the anti-lock braking system. The VSC warning light refers to the vehicle stability control system. The brake system warning light refers to the electronically controlled brake system. The vehicle may be displaying these lights due to a malfunction, need of maintenance, or need of replacement of brake system components. This would include ABS pumps or actuators, brake fluid, and other braking system components or sensors. For this vehicle, the procedure to troubleshoot the cause of these lights displaying was begun with connecting a code scanner to the OBD2 port. After two attempts, the scanner displayed no powertrain code saved in the vehicle's computer. The next step of the procedure to troubleshoot the lights was to check each of the ABS fuses in the 12 volt electrical fuse box. None of the fuses showed any damage which would be indicated by a break in the metal housed in the plastic case. Next was to check the 12 volt battery located in the luggage compartment at the rear of the vehicle. It was determined that due to the low voltage and age of the battery being 8 years it needed to be replaced. Once the 12 volt battery was replaced a jumper wire was used in the OBD2 port to initiate a diagnostics check in the vehicle. The jumper wire was connected to the 5th slot from the right on the top row and 4th slot from the right on the bottom row of the OBD2 port. With the jumper wire attached the vehicle was powered on and the diagnostics check was initiated as seen on the main screen. Once the diagnostic check completed with multiple OK status reports displayed on the screen, the vehicle was powered off after waiting a few seconds. When the vehicle was powered off and all lights were off, the jumper wire was removed from the OBD2 port. With the jumper wire removed from the OBD2 port, the vehicle was again powered on. As seen, all lights associated with the ABS, VSC, and electronic braking system no longer displayed. The fastened seat belt and emergency brake lights also worked properly and were able to turn on and off with the appropriate procedures. The TPMS light displaying in this video is an issue specific to this vehicle and not related to the braking system lights. It is a part of the tire pressure warning system. For a quick reference, the reset button for the TPMS light is located below the steering column. The video procedure to replace the battery will be linked at the end of this video and or in the description. I had a great time making this video and hope you did watching it. As I make new videos, I want to share them with you, so subscribe now. Also comment, like, and check out some of the other content on our channel.